This is uh, Patty's and mine fourth year, as I mentioned. And um, when we did decide to do this four years ago, I was convinced that the MGH Cancer Center was in that top echelon of places that was advancing the science and the research. Four years later, I'm convinced that they're at the top. And the reason I say that is for a variety of reasons. I'd like to cite a couple, but they are just as innovative. They are more innovative, open-minded, aggressive, passionate about getting solutions, creating therapies, diagnostics, and solving this. And if you were here in 2011, you heard a gentleman talk named John Murphy. In 2010, John Murphy was given a death sentence. He lived in Colorado, he didn't feel good, he went to his doctor, and his doctor told him, not that, well, he told him he was sick, but he didn't tell him there was any hope. He basically said, get your affairs in order. You've got a few months. That's what they told him. So I think John went about getting his affairs in order, but he had an industrious brother who went on the internet and wasn't gonna accept the fact that a melanoma with a BRAF mutation was a death sentence. And he learned about a clinical trial of a targeted therapy going on at the Mass General Cancer Center. He traveled here from Colorado, he took the targeted therapy, the tumors melted away, and John Murphy, who had the death sentence in 2010, is here tonight. John, please stand. He, he called his pills, he called his targeted therapy Smith & Wesson, and it's, uh, I guess it, kill, it killed tumors, but it's a great thing. And there are many other targeted therapies coming out of clinical trials at this cancer center. But better than targeted therapies are diagnostics that can get us to discover cancers quicker and earlier. And, and eliminate them before they have a chance to, to take us to the brink. And Dr. Haber uh, is one of the gentlemen responsible, and he talked about it earlier tonight, for the CTC chip. It's literally the size of a business card, but on that business card, which he talked about here in this room two years ago, he talked about taking tubing and scotch tape and jerry-rigging this concept. For those of you that were here, you heard it. Two years later, this little business size size card with 80,000 little pillars on it that can take a tiny sample of blood right on this card and find a one in one billion part of a blood sample. One in one billion little, I don't even know what you call them, Doc, but specs or something. <laughs> and with and with that, diagnose cancer, invasive cancers early, lung cancers, prostate cancers, colon cancers, pancreatic cancers, so that eventually you can see the day where you'll go into CVS, grab one of these things, prick your finger, and, and be finding out about it in advance. No more uh, invasive biopsies and on our step to eliminating diseases. This is now reality. Two years ago, he talked about it as fantasy. Johnson & Johnson is now manufacturing these and is his partner to bring this to market. So hopefully we get there in the next two years. <laughs> and lastly, I wanna thank, I wanna be mindful of the time and I know you all wanna hear our brilliant singer tonight close the evening. But lastly, it's not just about those things, it's about what's coming down the pike. So Dr. Haber and his team, there are new, four years ago when Patty and I first chaired this, people had pretty much given up on immune therapies, your own body's immune system being turned on to fight cancers. And there have been some developments in the medical world with immune therapies since then, and Dr. Haber and his team at MGH are working with these new basis of treatment and combining them with targeted therapies to develop new mediums of treatment that we will hopefully be talking about here in another year or two, saving lives the way John Murphy's life was saved with that clinical trial way back when. So there is no doubt in my mind that MGH Cancer Center is at the pinnacle of this field. But usually when you're around brilliant scientists, okay, they don't always have a warm, fuzzy side to them. 
But you saw Dr. Haber tonight, and the thing that is so amazing about the MGH Cancer Center is you've got the best cutting edge science with the most compassionate, loving, gentle, care. And that's because you saw Dr. Haber, you see the type of man he is, and Peter Slavin, my good friend who runs Mass General, they demand that when a patient is in a bed, that they're treated like a human being. Cancer is an emotionally debilitating disease, certainly for the person suffering and their family. They don't want to feel like a number. They don't want to feel like a burden on people. In order to get better, they need to be put at ease emotionally. And, and that is just as important as the brilliant science that is going on there. So with that as background, tonight we're right at the cusp of our goal. We're basically at a million and a half dollars, which means we're going to shatter our goal because all of you have these little cards in front of you. I brought one up here. And please, if you are going to give philanthropic dollars to cancer in one way, shape, or form in the next 12 months, Give to the Avon breast walkers and buy Grace's cards, but fill out one of these cards, please, to the best of your ability right now. I promise you those dollars will go to great work. And I think our youth uh, honorees are going to walk around now and collect them. And for anybody that donates, you're going to be sent some of Grace's cards so you can look at her beautiful photography and maybe send them out to your friends and encourage them to give to the MGH Cancer Center, too. Thank you so much for being here tonight. It's awesome.